Donald Trump believes he has found a winning strategy for the 2020 presidential campaign. And that is to go after any non-white person, claim that they do not love America and tell them that they need to get the hell out of our country. All right, we saw in Wednesday night's rally, the people chanting, send her back at Elon Omar after Donald Trump started attacking her. And that is the message that Donald Trump is going to stick with. He's stuck with it all week on Twitter, tweeting it every single day since it uh, originally blew up on Sunday. And that's their new message. That is their new campaign strategy. And that is going to cost them big time. Now we already know Donald Trump cannot win a presidential election with just his base alone. And those are the only people who seem to like what he's saying right now. So this isn't even about that. The numbers for him simply don't add up. If you wanna keep hammering this, go for it because it's a losing strategy, but actually don't go for it because it's really hurting the United States and putting Elon Omar and all the other uh, AOC and, and Presley and Slave, it's putting them all in danger. So I do not want you to continue. But another reason why you shouldn't want to continue Mr. Trump is that all of these racist statements that you're making about immigrants uh, go back to your country, you know, America, love it or get the hell out. Um, that's going to cost you big time in court. And if you had any brain in that big quaffed head of yours, you would know that because it's already happened to you at least six different times in the last two and a half years. See, people seem to forget that Donald Trump, his administration, they have lost numerous court battles, six at least, because of Donald Trump's tweets and statements that he made at his rallies. Now, most of these court cases involve things like immigration. You know, Donald Trump goes out there to launch his campaign and says, immigrants coming over here to kill you, they're coming over here to rape you. And then after they've done both of those things, I don't know which order, uh, they're gonna take your job. But he has lost court cases about trying to end DACA. He has lost court cases on trying to prosecute asylum seekers because of those very words. And lawyers who are having to challenge the Trump administration's policies are getting much smarter about it. And they're using his words against him in court, not by just trying to argue that the policy's bad, but they're making equal protection clause cases rather than regular you know, challenges. They're challenging these as violations of the equal protection clauses of the constitution. And they're using Trump's own words against him. They're trying to say this policy he came up with has nothing to do with the country being too full, has nothing to do with, you know, stopping the bad people from getting into this country. Look at the Twitter statement here. It's because he doesn't want non-white people coming into the country. They have done that and they have been successful when they've done that. And Trump loses every time they do it. Yeah, the Muslim ban is a great example up until Donald Trump packed uh, the Supreme Court that got shot down by every single court because of statements Donald Trump had made that were, were shown to be a huge animosity against Muslims. And that's what's gonna happen with these statements. The more he says it, the more he's gonna lose, not just with the American electorate, but in terms of policy, in terms of court cases. This is a losing strategy for the president of the United States but he doesn't have anyone surrounding him with the brains and courage to let him know that. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.